Welcome back. Today we are building this, a more or less DIY power bank kit from AliExpress for 421700 batteries. It sounds and looks more complicated than it is, no electronics knowledge needed. Sadly or fortunately, the DIY part only concerns the case. Let's put it together. It comes simply in bubble wrap and spare parts. Seems all you need is a screwdriver and of course your own batteries, but no manual included. So I'm playing around a bit to figure it out, but there's just the innards in one piece and the shell to assemble yourself. I'm not mad that it is covered still though. With the acrylic I'm a bit afraid of cat hair and dust on this project already. Putting it together is pretty straightforward, just on the LED side you are a little bit limited in space. In terms of batteries, I have 4 LG M50LT that used to power vapes of mine. They are okay for that, but only in dual battery mods. For single 21700 mods, their output amps are a bit too weak, but still 4900 mAh per cell though, so perfect for a project like this. Also wanting to show you the chip itself, maybe it helps someone of you out there. In the background, I already started to put it together, taking off the wrapping took longer than putting it together. But then I wanted to test it on my phone and nothing. Shoot. So I took it apart again and tested with different batteries and that worked. So back to the LGs and I inserted one by one and see there, suddenly it worked. I have to say it is funny that they call it a DIY kit as that really only applies to the case. I expected a bit more in terms of electronics to do oneself, but hey, I'd say this is more of a novelty item, but definitely stylish. You can have power bank cases to insert your own batteries for half the price, and those are more portable, even for 421700s, like you see here. If you're like me and use the same batteries for, say, cameras, vape, and power banks, then the cheaper ones are better, as you can easily exchange the batteries, also more portable. For example, when I'm traveling with my gear, I use these 4X 18650 power banks to power my cameras on the go, but at the same time, if my vape runs out of power in the evening of a travel day, I can still save my behind by exchanging some batteries, and that quickly. I also have to say that for looking like a very advanced power bank, it actually gives you less info than the cheaper portable ones. Say on these I get info about input and output amperage. On the DIY kit here, it's only the screen showing your current power level. No indicator that you are receiving or sending power, except on the charging device itself. I have to say that is a bit disappointing. I'd say if you want to retire some batteries in an extremely pretty way, I mean look at it, it's definitely a fancy power bank. No regrets to have this at my home as a backup. Maybe also a good gift for a tinkerer. I still wanted to give this a video, because these acrylic DIY kits started to appear on Chinese sites last year in very different options, some weld free, some not, so I wanted to go for one that is still soldering free, because I'm a noob in those regards still. But yet, this is a bit heftier product than the portable ones. Different power banks for different use cases I guess. And yes, if you're wondering, AliExpress is still there to Austria, but I ordered this still in 2022 and wanted to keep it for a later video. Here we are. A pity. If you're wondering what this is about, I'll link you the video above. That's it, a funny little project for a stylish power bank. But the DIY part is more for a bored lunch break than a real building project, but still no regrets here. If you are a power bank power user, let me know what your favorite one is. That's it. This channel deals with everything technology and crypto. Hope you're doing well, happy mining and bye!